This video is going to go through the experiments that mainstream physics can't understand. I will also place links in this video to videos that do give us an explanation. I will start with the two-slit experiment. This experiment has been called the only true mystery, but it can be explained if the future is explained as an emergent property within the reference frame of the experiment future coming into existence photon by photon within such a process the wave particle duality of light creates an interactive process between the light waves and the electrons of the atoms that form the physical structure of the experiment the observer interacts with this experiment by turning on or off an electronic detector forming a photon electron coupling or dipole moment relative to the experiment. I will place a link above that explains this experiment. The next experiment we will look at is the delay choice quantum eraser experiment. It has been said this is by far the strangest and most thought-provoking experiment in physics. People have even gone as far as to say that this experiment shows that the future can affect the past. But someone placed a comment on my video that explains this experiment and said, Why would anyone take time out of the experiment? I take it he asked this question because the experiment was so logical with a timeline within the experiment with the future unfolding with new photons continuously being formed relative to the geometry or structure of the experiment I will place a link above that explains this experiment another very beautiful experiment that mainstream physics can't explain is the experiment with polarizing filters known as the polarization paradox this is a dramatic example of the measurement changing what is being measured some people say this is the observer effect and is linked in some way to consciousness but it is not because we can repeat the experiment with microwaves that are not even visible to the observer. This experiment is totally logical once we understand that the wave particle duality of light is an interactive process relative to our actions. I will place a link above to a video dedicated to this experiment. The next experiment we will look at is the EPR experiment. What is nice about this experiment is that it started out in the 1930s as a thought experiment that was supposed to highlight that quantum mechanics could not be a complete theory but today with modern technology we can actually perform the EPR experiment and we have found that non-locality is real but that does not mean we have a complete understanding of quantum mechanics we can have a logical understanding of non-locality if the future is an emergent property with time being formed by a universal process of energy exchange the video link above explains the EPR experiment by explaining a new theory that gives us a deeper understanding of quantum mechanics with an objective reality based on an interactive process of energy exchange The next experiment is Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. Because of the paradox of quantum mechanics, it has been said that the cat can be alive and dead at the same time. In this theory, the cat as a group of atoms collapses its own wave function, forming a future relative to the energy and momentum of its own actions, with the future unfolding photon by photon. This might sound too simple but the photon forms the movement of charge and we have the build-up and organization of charge relative to each living cell within the cat whatever movement the cat or 
any other object or life form makes, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. I have placed the link above that explains this experiment. The final experiment is the readiness potential problem of conscious decision making. It has been found experimentally that when a person is asked to move or make a decision, the electroactivity in the brain forms a pattern of activity known as the readiness potential. What cannot be explained is that the reported time of each decision was consistently a short period, some tenth of a second, after the readiness potential appeared. The problem is there does not seem to be enough time for free will to take place. But in this theory, consciousness is at the forefront of creation as an integral part of the process that forms a future that is relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. The future is an emergent property with conscious thought being the most advanced part of this universal process. I have placed a link here to a video that explains this. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of these videos.